hi everyone welcome back today's project is to flush the old coolant from this car which is lexus lx470 or any car that has two uz engine first of all i'm gonna remove this reservoir and uh, empty this wash it and then i'm gonna empty the block and also the radiator so let's do it That's a 12 millimeter bolt right here. Well, this is out. Uh, it has only two 12 mm bolts. Let's uh, see what's inside. Right now I'm under the car. It's the left side, front left tire. So it has uh, six 12 millimeter bolts, uh, which is holding this plastic skid plate right here. It has skid plate in two pieces. The front one is made from metal. The rear one is made from plastic. Okay guys, it has eight bolts, not six bolts. So once I take out the rear skid plate, I will show you guys where those bolts are located at. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. First of all, I'm gonna drain this uh, radiator. The reason I'm changing coolant is because if coolant hasn't been changed for a long time, it will turn into acid and it will destroy your car's head gasket. I washed this and I rinsed the inside with uh, just clear water. I did not use any dish soap, but I washed the outside with dish soap. And there was a little bit of sediments inside, but it's pretty clean now. This is the right side and the drain bolt is right, right behind these pipes. You guys would be able to feel it by finger. It's uh, hard to show it to you guys on the camera. I'm not sure if you guys get yeah, right that one. So that's the one to reach. Uh, opening that bolt is gonna be a little bit tricky. So that's the right side brain bolt. To get the right side drain bolt open you guys have to use a flex head uh, box and wrench i have tried the socket but the socket is not gonna work so because there is this bracket right in front of it the bracket is preventing the socket from going all the way in this is a type of a flex head ratchet you guys would need for doing the right side there you guys can see that all right guys so i got that uh, drain that tight it's a 10 millimeter uh, bolt if sorry if i'm uh, repeating myself there is not much that came out of this it's just a little bit maybe let me take it out just this much it came out of the block so this is the left side now and let me see if I can, oh son of a gun. Okay, 
it's about to come out. Started coming out. No, sorry, dripping on my head. I'm gonna get it a bit more loose. I would suggest to skip draining the block because. There's not much in the block, it's a pain in the ass to empty the block because of its location. The left side is not too bad, but the right side is painful. Okay, I got this, uh, this drain bolt tight again. Uh, torque spec for these two bolts uh, is 9 foot pound. Good luck uh, using a torque wrench over here. This is uh, 9 foot pounds. Okay, I installed this uh, container, it's clean, It's uh, I fill it up to the correct mark with the coolant and now I'm gonna fill up the radiator. So there is this uh, spill proof funnel which goes like this, this is green, green is for Toyota. I think it goes like this way, I'm not sure, maybe this way. And then. Fill it up from coolant. This is the coolant that I'm gonna be using. Okay guys, I'm about to start the car. need to select a recirculate so the coolant can circulate inside the system the engine temperature is at optimum level right now it shouldn't go higher than this if you guys notice it's gonna go higher immediately kill the engine there is no leak from the left side Be careful because the exhaust pipe is pretty hot, pretty hot at this time. So whenever you guys are checking for leak and if the engine is running, uh, watch out for these hot exhaust pipes. Otherwise, it's gonna burn your skin. So this is uh, the leak. This is not actually the leak. It was when I was draining this. So that's that's why it's wet. Let's see. Hopefully, it's not leaking. You guys can see it's not leaking. We can safely put the engine splash shield back on. Okay, let's uh, check underneath the uh, radiator. This one is not leaking as well. And uh, let's double check if it's tight or not. Yeah, it's tight. So 
So I'm gonna put this cap back on it. Okay guys, so that's how you flash to use the FD engine and uh, it's pretty straightforward and easy and make sure you guys check the coolant in the morning, make sure it's at the correct level. Uh, also check the level of coolant in this reservoir right here in the morning and keep an eye on the temperature needle in case if it goes above the default line off and it's snowing again all right guys guys have a nice day bye